VS Code's Explorer supports undo and redo of file operations. Let's say that I'm working in the Explorer and I move a file around. So I'll take the package.json file here, for example, and move it into the source directory. I'll confirm that move. And now let's say that a little bit later on, I realize, hey, I actually want to undo that. I can just focus the Explorer. So I'll click in the Explorer here and then press Control Z or Command Z on Mac to actually undo that operation. So Control Z or Command Z, and now the package.json file is back in its original location. Undo and redo also work if you go and delete a file or rename a file. So let's say I went in here and deleted this TypeScript file. So I'll focus on that. I'll press delete, which is just command delete on Mac here. Now, if I want to restore that file, I can just press undo. So again, control Z or command Z. And now that file has been restored. Now there are a few different settings that you can use to control the behavior of undo and redo in VS Code's Explorer. So let's open up these settings here with control comma or command comma on Mac. And I'm going to search for Explorer undo. Now the first setting here is explore enable undo. So if you just want to disable undo and redo, you could actually uncheck this. I think it's a pretty reasonable setting to have. So I want to keep that one enabled, but you can always use that if you want to disable things. Now the second setting here is the explore confirm undo setting. And this controls whether or not VS Code will prompt you when you're performing these undos in the explorer. By default, you would only get prompted if VS Code thinks it's a destructive operation. So let's say I created a new file here and then tried to undo that. You can see I get a prompt because this is actually going to go and delete the file. Now we could actually make VS Code prompt us less often if we go and change it to the light mode. And this will only prompt you if there's really something that could go wrong, like VS Code is going to replace a file by undoing it. But you can also go and turn it to verbose mode, which will enable even more prompting. So now let's say I rename a file over here, and then I say undo. You can see that I now get a prompt where I wouldn't have gotten a prompt before. And again, that's because I went and changed the mode here to verbose. I generally find that the default setting for this is pretty reasonable, and VS Code will only prompt you if there is something that needs your attention. So that's a quick look at explore, undo, and redo in VS Code.